Hello, welcome or welcome back to my channel and welcome to another weekly reading vlog. So today is Monday, August 28th and I am in the middle, not really at the middle, but I am reading a book and that is The Terraformers and that is actually like one of my anticipated releases that was released a while ago but I hadn't gotten to yet and it's science fiction so I am reading that and I am definitely planning on starting the Matchup, so the second book in the Life Ship Traders trilogy. I am excited, but also, um, you know, scared because it is huge. So, yeah, but definitely plan on finishing the Terraformers. Hopefully, like before the end of the month, because I want that to be in my August wrap up. And I want to read some of this. And honestly, I don't really have any set plans any set goals for other books that I want to read I have absolutely no idea what to read I actually like I won't really have much time to read today because I am going to be like I have to leave very soon and then I am going to a friend's house on Thursday so you know a little more time that I won't have to read but I am very excited and yeah that those are the plans not many like set plans but I have some and just welcome to the vlog. Hello, so it is a Wednesday and I just finished filming my wrap up and I also finished The Terraformers last night and I don't think I talked about it at all. So basically it is a science fiction book and we were following, in part one, we were following Destry and she was part of a terraforming team and obviously they were you know, terraforming, preparing a planet called Sask E. And while she was on one of you know their missions, she and her colleagues find a thing that was not supposed to be there, like there was a whole civilization living there that no one knew about and they were actually a, another species, they weren't humans, they were like they were not homo sapiens, they were homo archaeans, I think it was something like that and you know they were not supposed to be there, they were like they were supposed to be there hundreds of years ago but they were supposed to have died, they were supposed to have gone extinct, like all of them and I mean, clearly they were still there. They have not died. And Destry and her friends need to like figure out what to do with that information because they, I mean, like I said, they were not supposed to be there. So she needs to decide if she tells like her employers, her bosses, or if not, because I mean, her decision will impact everything. Like it will impact those people and it will impact everyone else living on the planet and it will impact their work, their mission and you know possibly the planet itself and yeah in part one basically we are seeing whether like what she decides and then there is a time jump like a big time jump and we see how that decision impacted the planet and everyone on it and in part one which was pretty much what i read last week i was really excited i was really invested in the story in like learning everything about the different species and different beings that existed on that planet and like the planet itself and obviously I you know wanted to know what the decision would be like what they would do and I was really invested but then and even like after the time jump for a little bit when we were learning about what had happened like how things had changed I was really interested and really invested but then I feel like I don't know I think the book was just too long because I was bored I was just bored in the second half of the book and like I really like the idea I really like the plots but yeah I just feel like it was too long but the audiobook like was amazing because there were like a lot of sound effects and the sound effects were in the audiobook and like even little songs sometimes so the audiobook was really fun to listen to and I mean it was still a good book it was just a little disappointing especially because I love part one so much so I was a little disappointed, but it was still okay. Like it was a, a book that I enjoyed reading and I gave it three stars 
and that is like that's everything on my reading updates that that is all I have read and now I want to start like I had said the matchup I have a bookmark but I have not started reading like it's in the prologue just you know to motivate me to read and not motivate me in the way that like I don't want to read no like, I do I just like it's intimidating you know it's a 906 yeah 906 page book so it's a little intimidating <laughs> and I also want to start the Viper which I mean it says I've read one percent but I have literally just opened the book so I could have the cover here yeah I want to start the Viper which is the eighth or ninth eighth I would I'm gonna say eighth if it's not I will correct myself when I'm editing but it's the possibly the eighth book in the Dave Gurney series, which is a like mystery thriller crime detective series. And yeah, I really like the series and I am excited for this one, which came out recently. So yeah, I also want to read that. And tomorrow I am going to my friend's house. So I will probably read some of this on the train. I am definitely not taking a matchup with me because that would be ridiculous. So yeah, if I do not start this today, like at home, I will be starting this tomorrow on the train. And yeah, I think that's it. I don't really have any other updates. I think that is all. I will talk to you probably when I'm back home. Like, I don't think tomorrow before I leave, I will have anything new to say. So yeah, I will probably talk to you once I come back home from my friend's house. Okay, so it is already Monday because I ended up only getting home like Saturday night and then I went to have dinner at my grandma's so did not read and then on Sunday my mom decided that we needed to like deep clean the house so uh, yeah did not update yesterday either but I did read a little yesterday and I did read like on the train on the way there not on the way back because on the way back I was standing and uh didn't feel like reading while I was standing but I I mean before I left I actually started the mad ship but I I read this which looks like nothing and is 18 pages so I mean I started but I have no thoughts about it yet because I, I barely started. So there's that. And then I got to, I forgot to bring my e-reader, but I think I'm 39% into The Viper. And it is in fact the eighth book in the series. And as always, we are following Dave Gurney, who is a retired detective, but he's always asked to come back to investigate whatever case is being investigated and in this particular one he's actually asked to look into a case that is solved or is thought to be solved like someone was already convicted someone's in prison and a friend of Gurney's wife asks him to look into that because she doesn't think that the guy who was convicted for the murder was actually the one who killed the other guy so he starts looking into it and even from like the people who know that guy that's in prison some of them say that he has definitely killed the other person some of them say that he has definitely not killed the other person and we know that he has done some you know bad things in his past so 
it is definitely possible but also we have you know changed into a better person recently so also you probably like wouldn't so we don't know really what's happening and where i'm at and i mean this is in the synopsis so it's not really a spoiler gurney has actually been like framed for murder as well so you know a lot is happening and i am really liking it i am very intrigued and yeah that is honestly that's what i read and also i my friend and i went to the movies we watched blue beetle is that the name i think and we don't really like watch dc but we were just like why not because it looks fun and it was very fun actually and i mean the grandma in that movie an absolute icon and so yeah that was very fun then we watched some more winks we finished season one and are now like in the beginning of season two and we have like 180 episodes left so i mean we will finish it one day you know yeah i mean i don't remember anything i only remember like vaguely things from the first season and then I don't remember anything else, like, at all. Like, I don't remember the new characters that we meet. Like, I remember, you know, what they look like, who they are. But I don't remember any of the plots. And my friend, like, she remembers everything. And I'm just, like, amazed with her memory, honestly. Because I got nothing. But, yeah, that happened. <laughs> that was very fun. And also, she gave me books. Because she had, like, some thrillers. And she doesn't really read thrillers. And she just gave them to me. So... I have you books and they're in Portuguese but I looked up their names in English like in the original names so they're actually like the first three books in a series that is called the power of five I think and so first we have Raven's Gate then we have Evil Star and finally we have Night Rise so I will definitely be reading these at some point I have no idea what they're about she only read the first I think and she didn't really like it, but again, she doesn't really like these kinds of books, so yeah. Also, I was like recognizing the author's name and then I re like I looked it up on Goodreads and I realized that I have read a book from this author that I gave five stars to, so you know, there's a potential there for me to really enjoy them, so I am excited. And I think that is everything that I had to say. Let's just wrap up everything that I did read, which was not a lot, like I definitely did not achieve my reading goals not even close but it was a fun week so you win some you lose some i guess but i finished the terraformers i started matchup and i started the viper and i read a total of 399 pages so yes definitely like very below my goal of like a thousand pages not even half but it is what it is i had fun i enjoyed what i read and yeah, I think that is everything for this weekly reading vlog. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope that you have enjoyed it. And if you did, give it a like and subscribe. And I will talk to you next time. Bye!